What's going on, YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be, and welcome to Girl Cafe Gun. I don't know. I don't name these things. This is a brand new action RPG waifu collector. Clearly, this game just came out recently, so let's go ahead and jump on it. I'll show you all about it. Starting off, of course, with the waifus that you can collect. But ho hold on for a sec. My, my mouse is stuck. I, I, I can't get to the button. I need to... I don't know why I did that. Why, why am I still here playing with waifus this many years later? I wish I knew. <laughs> Somebody save me. All right. Alright, so let's start off with the waifus that you can collect. So this is going to be one of those types of hero collectors where there's really only a handful of waifus, but they have a ton of different costumes. But it does make sense in the setting of this game. So even though it's not one of my favorite systems, I give this game a slight pass when it comes to that. Um, one of my favorite features when it comes to the hero collector and aspect of this game is the wardrobe feature. Now this game does wardrobes and costumes the right way. So let's say you're using a five-star version of a character, you can be using a two-star version of their outfit in combat if you choose to, unlike Konosuba before it got all Nexoned up. That's how it should have been. But this is the best way to do it. Like I said, I, if I want to use my two-star cheerleading outfit on my five-star version of Juno, who is the best waifu, no debate, you can do that. But let's go ahead and put her back in her casual fit right there. All you gotta do, click combat there or click main screen girl and boom, you're ready to go. So very cool. This is gonna be definitely the main attraction of this game. Gameplay wise, it's not really that, really that special at all. It's really all about collecting waifus, collecting their outfits, and then managing your cafe, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video, but let's go ahead and jump into a combat. Now the game just came out and there's already an event going on called Coastal Surveillance, where you get this character right here for free if you defeat Act 9, which I've already done. Um, but this will give us a really good kind of display of what combat's like in this game. Why is it giving me a tutorial? I swear I played the game before. Um, it'll give us an idea of what combat is like here in the game. So this game has what is quickly becoming a quintessential lazy FG feature, a recommended button. Um, as you guys can see here, mechanical aka blue is the strongest element type for this stage. All I have to do, click confirm, automatically sets my team, set my weapons. You love to see it. You can bring three girls into combat plus a support unit. And then there are weapons that can be equipped as well, which also have its own specific gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and take Shin Red here because they're level 50 and that's going to be the biggest help for me in this stage here but i think i can probably beat it without an assist character um but it doesn't actually matter in this game you don't get penalized for bringing an assist character that you do like in other games where you don't get a full three star rating for bringing an assist character not like that here in this game now like i mentioned before this is a waifu collector men do exist in this world like this boss over here is a guy doesn't look good in his 3d model but his 2d art ah you don't get to see it <laughs> his 2d art is pretty legit so like I mentioned before, yes, it's an action RPG. I would say most of your campaign stages and your grinding stages are all gonna be played on autoplay. But when it comes to bosses, you are gonna have to at least take control of the movement of the characters because those black tornadoes will eat you up real quick like. And as you guys can see, your characters will auto with their guns here. Look at this circle strafe action. This is doom training right here, boys. <laughs> I lost my mouse here on blue stacks. But yeah, your characters will do basic little gunfire attacks here. And then with the autoplay, it'll automatically do your special attacks. We just broke the boss's armor. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and summon my little uh, assist unit here to help me do as much damage as I possibly can while the uh, boss's uh, armor is broken. I'm trying to avoid all of these tornadoes. Unfortunately, your assist unit has a limited uses. So you can see she's about to vanish, but that's okay. There are power-ups that drop off the boss as well that can replenish your armor, HP. Stay in my little attack boost buff here. Looking good, looking good. Dude, get off me, get off me. <laughs> and there is a dodge as well, like this little yip yip. You can do that. Um, but I haven't really found, I haven't really found the need to do that much. I found that even on bosses that are kind of difficult like this one where I actually have to pay attention, just kind of moving out of the bad stuff who <laughs> was good enough and staying in all the good stuff there we go i kind of dude he's like all up on top of me we're about to lose my my team armor and we're going to start taking some hp damage but we should be okay 
Now, the cool thing about this boss, the better you defeat it, the more um, the more event currency you get. So, very typical when it comes to events like in every other hero collector you've ever played. Defeat stages, get special event currency, use that special event currency to buy things out of the shop, right? Very, very straightforward. Um, but here in this one, the better you defeat the boss, the more points you get as well. Um, and just like a lot of other hero collectors as well, there are some event special characters. So, if you bring, you know, a specific character, you're going to get 17% more uh, event currency dropped. So if you're really good, you can bring a whole team of three that all have boost. Hey, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> you can bring a team that has, uh, oh, man, we're actually kind of losing a little bit. We're good, though. We're good. Look at my HP. I See, if you played this on auto, you would lose. You would absolutely lose because you would have been standing in so many black tornadoes. You were standing in black tornadoes, FG. No, I wasn't. You can't prove it. So there you go. And this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Here's like the little points system there to get higher scores on that stage. And the better you do, the more cash shop currency you get there as well. So very nice, very nice splash screens as well. There is an uncensored patch for this game. We do have a censored version, believe it or not, we do have a censored version. So if you want to do that, all you gotta do is do some Google search and FG can't give you everything. Um, but that's the event that's currently going on. Like I said, defeat all the sages, get tons of rewards, and you can use that event currency in the shop to buy weapons, mods, weapons, uh, a lot of other upgrade materials that I'm not familiar with just yet. Um, EXP boost for your character, e EXP boost for your weapons, etc., etc. Um, and then, of course, gold, aka Crystalia, is what they call it in this game. So that is combat. That is the current event that's in the game. Outside of the event, you, of course, you do have a campaign. So pretty straightforward when it comes to campaigns. Defeat the stages, three star each one. Once you're done with that, you can switch this bad boy to hard and do it all over again. Um, outside of the campaign, you also have daily resource grinds, which I actually am going to show you one, believe it or not. Um, the daily resource grinds are different. They're actually kind of different. Um, so let's go to this and right over here. Put this bad boy in normal, jump into combat. Once again, lazy FG. Psionic is the best uh, color type for this stage here. I'll bring a friend and let us begin. I will not be mad if this game always showing the same exact splash screen. Can't be mad. Those are my two favorite characters though, by the way. So the daily resource grind stages, actually not only do you have to defeat enemies, but you also have to contend with the stage as well. And they're all different. They're actually all different. So this one right here, you're kind of trying to stay off of the little uh, electric grids. So you'll see it here in a second. So just kind of hanging out, chilling. The warning has been warned. Now I have to avoid the electrified grid. <laughs> so it, enemies are still going to be coming too as well as we avoid the electrified grid. Now you might be being, you might be saying, FG, I don't want to do uh, really late. I don't want to do daily resource grinds every single day manual like this trying to avoid grids. Guess what? You don't have to. I'm on autoplay. Check it out. <laughs> no hands, my look. <laughs> Completely on autoplay. It's also doing it. Now there's some of these daily resource grind stages that are, I don't wanna say they're more complicated, where, but the autoplay isn't as good as kind of focusing on the objective. Like there's one where there's like these like rolling pins that are all over the stage where your autoplay is gonna get hit by them constantly. They do pretty grid on, they, they do pretty grid. They do pretty grid on the grid. They do pretty good on the grid stage, but like I said, that little rolling pin stage are not so good. Um, there's another stage where you have to defeat turrets that are circling around the stage. Sometimes they kind of forget that they, they're supposed to do that. Um, so yeah, it, it switches up the monotony. It's not just you fighting enemies. Sometimes the stages are trying to kill you as well, which hey, you love to see. And hopefully they start doing, hopefully in the future, they kind of incorporate some of this into event stages as well. And they're, they're might, they might already actually be doing that. I haven't actually completed the event just yet. Um, but I, I would actually like to see stuff like this in a boss encounter. Not one that you have to grind. No, not, 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 not grinding one. Um, but doing a boss encounter where you only have to defeat it like once a day or something like that. But you also have to contend with the stage. I think that would be pretty cool. So there you go, I'm gonna go ahead and summon my little assist character so we can kind of speed through this stage a little quicker. I always summon them at the wrong time. Look at how much time I've wasted on my assist character. Look at this, she hasn't done nothing. Go ahead and beat this guy down here. And that should be GG. There you go, avoid that electrical grid. And we got 15 out of 15. Win, right? No, maybe, possibly, okay. <laughs> Look at my waifus. Dude, I love the fact that you can change your combat fits. Very, very much so. Now, this month, 
you know, considering the rest of the, or the previous part of this year, it's been very desolate when it came to games, but this month we've had a lot of games come out all at once. We've had um, Dislight, we've had Feature Revolution, we had World Flipper, we got this game. And believe it or not, I'm having more fun with this game. I'm, I'm actually having more fun with this game. Wasn't even anticipating it, wasn't even on my radar. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the heroes that you can collect. Wait, what about gameplay, FG? There's no more? My bad, my bad. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting ahead of myself. Wait, wait, wait. So, campaign, you have events. The daily resource grinds and then later on there's a thing called data drill that unlocks at 512 fantasy oath that unlocks at 612 and coordinated attack that unlocks at 412 so um more to come on this game unfortunately it does do one of fg's least favorite things and that is it uses your normal stamina for events which i don't really like at all so right now i've had to kind of stop doing the story and i'm working on the event at the moment so here is a little gotcha summon animation <laughs> you love to see <laughs> like this game doesn't really do anything too special but like i said out of all the games that have uh, recently released this is the one i'm digging <laughs> so there's two banners going on right now you have the maid banner which is a long-term banner and then you have this little event banner the tactical equipment i think this is the best one to go for so you can get characters that can help you with the event and get better drops in my opinion let's go ahead and do a tin pool real quick using some cash shop currency free to play by the way this game has a lot of packs. I think they overdid the packs. They're all relatively inexpensive, but there's a lot of them. Like they're mostly like, you know, 99 cents, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars like that. Um, but there are so many of them. And here are all my waifus. And like I said, you get a costume that you like, you can use it. So this looks like it's probably a new one for me. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna I'm a download that uncensored patch. <laughs> And then forget to turn it off when I get on YouTube. <laughs> oh, my. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Why? And this just had to be Juno. Don't go get in a nosebleed tonight. Nice little anime reference. You love to see. <laughs> Juno, best waifu. So now I can, now I have this costume unlock, like her little maid fit. You love to see. I'm going to do another tin pool here. See if we get anything. Else. Oh, a cat came out. Is that good? Yes, it is good. So now we have a five star off of the new banner. Who is it? Which, I don't even know which one the five. Oh, it's you? Hold on. Cheerleading outfit. Lita's pretty cool too. Lydia, Lita? Yeah, just Lita. She's pretty cool as well. Definitely my favorite two characters are Lita and Juno. And then this is this girl who I don't, I don't know all the names yet. Come on. She. And there you go, four star, ah, come on. Oh wait, yeah, oh my goodness, <laughs> why? <laughs> That's the same face I had when I saw me getting demonetized. <laughs> Thank you. All right, all right, so four star is the highest, not five star, I guess, there you go. So very, very nice, didn't get any of the, I'll rate you guys later. So there you go, and then there's also a weapon gotcha. So let's flippy flippy on over there. Um, they just gave me a little tin pool for a login bonus as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Just going to skip through that. Um, let me see. Weapon wise. Of course, all the girls have a specific weapon that they use. Got myself a new a sniper rifle called Hell's Fang. Let's see if we can get anything else out of here. I don't really have any good weapons. <laughs> Shafted. Shafted. All right. So now it's time to go back to the cafe. Dude, I'm all over the place. I usually do summons last. I completely forgot about the cafe part. <laughs> so you do manage a cafe as well. Think of this like your house or your dorm in most games. You can decorate it with furniture. I've put a little money cat right over here. Got some tables set up. You know, a nice little place here. Um, you can also brew coffee for uh, customers that are coming into your shop. So go ahead and do that. This will give you passive resources. So go ahead and have some coffee out. That way customers have a little something something. Um, other than that, decorating it making coffee, getting customers. You also can manage the shop as well. This is what I was kind of showing you a little bit. Um, so this character right now is managing my cafe. Eventually she'll get tired. And once she gets a little tired, I have to put her over into the bedroom. That way she can rest. Um, you can also train some of your characters inside this little, oh, I don't want to cancel it. Let's see, go over here so I can show you what it looks like at least. Ah, come on, I can't show you the training thing. Ah, man. Um, but all the girls are kind of like 
doing the things that they're training. So some girls were dancing, doing yoga, playing darts, reading manga, stuff like that. So it's kind of cool to see that. Um, but that is pretty much that, right? Everything else you expect when it comes to waifu collectors, you know, giving them gifts, you know, patting them on the head. Let me, let me, let me go ahead and do that. Here you go. I, I don't know why we got to do this in all these games. Why, why, why we got to do this? <laughs> some of them are kind of funny and cute. <laughs> There you go. Five times a day, you gotta do that. When did this become a thing? I, I have no idea. All right, so check this out. So we got some new we got some new fits here. So we just saw this maid outfit for Juno we just got. So here's the new Juno maid outfit. I'm still digging the casual. I'm gonna go ahead and keep her casual combat. Combat, there you go, there you go. Let's see what else we got here. Um, I do like her casual. It's kind of cool. It looks like the, uh, the lo-fi girl a little bit, but let's see what the maid fit is like. This is, this is going to be the reason why you play the game long term. Like, let's be real. Dress up simulator. You know, it's an end game in lots of different games. I actually like her, her collar there. I'll keep that on that one. It's an end game in lots of games, right? You think about Warframe and Guild Wars 2. It's all about dress up at the end. <laughs> That's pretty cool too. But this is the costume, the version of the character from the event. Free, completely free, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. All right, so that is that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. A nice little look at Girl Cafe Gun. The game does have a battle pass too. Of course it does, of course it does. But like I said, there's a lot of packs in this game, but they're not super expensive. Uh, let me make sure I'm telling you guys the truth though. 14, 19, 99 cents, $5, 15, eight, 25, nine, two, Four, four, three, nine. You see what I'm saying? It's like a lot of them, but they're not like ninety-nine dollars, eighty-nine dollars. Not like that. Not like a a, a net marble title <laughs> when it comes to that. Um, so that will uh, do it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Once again, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. My Discord made waifu crew without me, and then I tried to get in, and it was full. Let me see. What? Search an ID. Oh, I have to search for the ID? Dude, I want to be in the waifu, waifu haven. <laughs> Y'all lucky. Let me back in my guild, suckers. <laughs> How dare they make it without me and leave me out. But there is a clan feature as well that I can't show you because I'm not currently in a clan. But, you know, I, I might stick around. I might stick around. So that will uh, do it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Once again, my name is FG3000. Here's something that I want all you guys to do. If you do decide to play this game, go down to Assist Loadout and hit Recommended. Just go down here and hit Recommended. That way, you're not trying to support people with your level one scrub unit, okay? Go, go down here and do that. Do it for FG. All right, now I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Later.